everyone and welcome back to the happy heart I'm so glad that you guys came over today to see this brand new video thank you so much for coming by and if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos I usually upload cleaning videos on Sunday and Wednesday and then I do kind of some fun uh, lifestyle videos all throughout the week so there's always something here and if you're not already, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram because I post there uh, just about my everyday life and what's going on. And I'm always curious about what's really going on in people's lives and what um, their day looks like and things like that. So I post a lot over there um, just for fun. So if you haven't already, go ahead and head over there, um, click and follow me. So today's video is all about the allowance program that I developed in my family and it took me a little while I had um, kind of some different stuff that I did and this is mostly what I settled on and what works well for my family so I wanted to share it with you because when I first thought about giving my child an allowance I wasn't 100% sure like where to even start it just seemed kind of daunting I decided when my son was about five or six that I really wanted him to know some kind of value of money because up until that point I know for sure when he was about six he had no concept of money he didn't care and I remember um, my favorite aunt sent him some money to buy him a new bike and I remember trying to give him this like look at look at all this like this is great like and he was like uh -huh. like he had no idea and just like it was just paper to him it wasn't anything big like he didn't really have a concept of it so at that point I thought it was a really good idea have something inside my home where he would have a concept of money and where he would budget money and I do personally feel very strong with being able to budget money and teaching your kids to budget money. I think so often we grew up in an era where people didn't talk about it and it's kind of a hush-hush subject. And then you get out in the world and you have no idea how to manage money. And I didn't want that to happen for my son. So I always wanted it to be a topic that we could speak about in my home. Um, my one tip that I can definitely tell you is think about what works best for your family and your finances before you promise anything to your children. That was something that I remember thinking like, what can I afford to pay him per week or however you're going to do it? And that really dictated how much I could pay and what kind of jobs that he could do. Even when he was small, I always made him up around the house. He always had to clean his room. Um, I am of the thinking that, yeah, you live in the house, so you have to help and take care of it. It doesn't exempt you from the process just because um, there's somebody who will clean up after you. But I also wanted this idea of money in my home. I did a lot of YouTube research and I did a lot of um, just asking people here and there, like, what do you guys do? The very first thing I decided was how much could I afford to pay? I wanted to pay him weekly. I thought this was a really good idea. Um, too much time wouldn't go by. This would be great. And for a while, I really tried to pay him weekly. And it, honestly, guys, it drove me crazy. I just had a really hard time with it um, because we... Um, per our finances, we're getting paid every two weeks. And it was kind of annoying to remember to like go get cash and things like that. So what I found works best for my family in that particular situation was to pay him every two weeks. And I always said, you know, when dad gets paid, that's when, you know, that's when you get paid too. The system that worked best in my house was to pay for an unlimited amount of jobs. There was just some stuff that I needed help with on a daily basis and I needed somebody to help me with these little things because I felt like I was doing so much and I needed them done unlimited. I needed them done when I wanted them done, not just once a day, if it needed to be done twice a day. Um, so I decided to pay 
a blanket across the board, unlimited amount of these particular chores, I guess you could say. So my son knows that if I ask him to unload the dishwasher, that is one of his responsibilities. And if I ask him once a day, twice a day, if I ask him on Monday, and then I don't ask him again till Friday, it doesn't matter, he'll get paid the same. It's per need. And I feel like when you go to work, you're doing a job, and most of the time you have daily tasks that you need to do, but you also have things that you have to do per need. And so I didn't think that that was really a weird concept to kind of pay for unlimited because when I worked I know I got paid the same amount whether um, I had 50 patients or whether I had 30 patients or whether I had 12 patients and didn't hardly have to do anything so I really wanted him to have kind of that idea that no matter what you do this job so what I came up with and what worked best in my family was I decided that he needed to do five jobs and I would pay him five dollars at the end of the week, unlimited amount of times, and I try not to take advantage of this. So that would make at the end of two weeks that I'm paying him ten dollars. We've been doing it for about two years now and so he knows that he gets paid ten dollars every two weeks. Here's my other tip. Keep track of it somehow. Very um, loosely if you want, but keep track of it somehow, and I will show you guys how I keep track of mine. I found out kind of the hard way that if I didn't keep track of it and I didn't make sure in my head that, it had, did he do everything that I asked him to do, that he was continually doing about two or three jobs normally and um, getting paid for five. So uh, that went on for probably about a year and I decided to try to keep track of it better in my head, couldn't do it. I only have one child so a lot of things I keep track of like that but this was just not one that I could, that I was successful at so I decided to implement a uh, paper system. So this is the paper system that I implemented days of the week, what the jobs were, and I made it almost like a timesheet. So I will show you guys an overview at the end of this, but I wanted it to be kind of like a time card, I guess you could say. Um, I put the jobs that he needed to do versus the days of the week, and then we were gonna kind of tick mark it. I don't, I, at first I was thinking like stickers, um, Pencil works just fine, and I make him sign it at the end. This was kind of like our practice run one, um, and it worked out okay, and I, I didn't actually have him sign this one, that was me. But I had to see a total at the end of the week, for not only myself, but for him, of how many times did you do this job? If you're doing it unlimited amount of times, how many times did you actually do this job? And is it really something that's worth being on that list? My, the five jobs that he does have changed a little bit depending on his age and just depending on if they were getting done. So I have had to change certain ones because they just weren't getting done and I wasn't remembering. Still at this point, even though my son is nine, um, because we have so much flexibility in our schedule, there's a lot of times where I'm like, okay, we're gonna do the laundry now or I'm already doing the laundry, so I just call him in from whatever he's doing, and he knows that if mom calls and mom asks, that you've just stopped what you're doing, come in and help mom and do your chore or your assignment. Honestly, I don't think that's a bad thing because later on in life, I want him to know that you respect and you care and you love your family enough to stop the video game you're playing or stop what you're doing and come to where your parents need you. I don't think that's bad at all. I wanted him to have that kind of in himself, so that would never be an issue. I also wanted an adult of any kind to be able to ask him, hey, can you do this? And him to say, yes sir, yes ma'am, stop what he's doing and do it. So often I think it's like, oh, I'll be right there, oh, you know, and it's like, no, you need to stop what you're doing and help because this is your family, this is a person you love, or this is a person you respect. 
So that is why this system works best for us. So most of the time after homeschool, after things get done, he, I will be doing things in the house, I'll be cleaning up, doing different things like that. You guys will see cleaning videos where he's cleaned with me and I'll link those up here. There's probably a couple, so watch for some eyes. And he knows that he has to do these things. Now, is there times that I unload the dishwasher? Absolutely. But he knows that these are his responsibilities and that he needs to do this. His responsibilities as of right now are unloading the dishwasher, switching over the laundry. I hate switching over the laundry, like from the washer to the dryer. <sighs> Sometimes I have to be there though because I don't want to dry certain things. Um, the majority of what I ask him to do is like towels, sheets, um, his own laundry, uh, things for my husband because most of the time he doesn't care. But if it's my laundry, I usually do it myself. So I try, I really, when I tell you I try not to take advantage of the system, I really try not to take advantage of the system. Um, he's supposed to do his own laundry. He usually has about one load of laundry, so I don't feel bad saying, hey, you gotta wash your clothes, put them in the dryer and fold them. A lot of times I'll fold his laundry for him, but I always make him put it away. So it just depends how nice I'm feeling that day. He always has to gather up the trash. And this is something that if his dad is home, um, if you guys don't know, my husband travels a lot for a living. And if my husband is home, he will gather up the trash. He'll take it out for him lots of times. Um, he'll put it out to the curb. But if my husband's not home, this trash thing is something I cannot remember. It is awful. Oh my gosh. I for, I can get it out of the house, but I can't get it to the curb. Sometimes I can't even get it out of the house. You guys know. You know. You just have those things that there's just not room in my brain for take out the trash. I have tried. Even when my son was not even a year old and my husband deployed, I used to have the hardest time remembering the trash. It was just my thing. So I have put it on this list to make my life easier because if I'm gonna pay for it, might as well. So he has to gather up the trash and take it out to the curb. So on this list, I was trying to think of one more because we've gone back and forth by different things. And right now um, we're putting either sweep or blow off the driveway with the leaf blower. We just have some really huge trees in the front of our yard. And so the walkway up to my house and the driveway once a week he just has to go out there and either sweep it or blow it he doesn't like to use the leaf blower which i would think wouldn't take very long so a lot of times he sweeps it and i don't care as long as it gets done i just hate when you walk up to somebody's home and there's just all this stuff all over the walk i don't like that all of these things are unlimited but like the trash is usually just something that you know, the night before it goes out, we kind of, okay, we got to get that done. Or when it's full, if I'm doing dishes, I can call him into the kitchen and say, hey, can you take out the trash? The trash is full. And that might get done a little bit more than once. Um, he never sweeps the walkway or the driveway more than once. <clears throat> he really only has one load of laundry, so don't really think that's a terrible thing. But I know it feels very daunting to him, so I don't really make him do more on top of it. Switching the laundry and unloading the dishwasher, I just feel like those two little things help me so much and they don't take very much time. It's just my time needs to go where I can do the most. And those things I do do for him, but the majority of the time I will say, hey, come and unload the dishwasher so I can load it again and then I will do something else while he unloads the dishwasher. Uh, this is the system that works for us. Um, Friday or Saturday, I have him turn it in and I have him basically just put it in with his homeschool stuff so I can see it because I want to see, you know, you have to turn in your time card when you work and you have to sign your time card when you work. And so I wanted him to get used to that. So I pay him $10 every two weeks. He knows that every other Friday he gets paid. And um, at this moment in time, I make him tithe 10% to 
save 10% and then he could spend the rest. And that's kind of how we do it. The other thing I really try to stop doing, I can't say I'm like super successful at this because I'm a softie, but um, it really worked well for about six months. But anytime he wanted soda or he wanted junk food, like um, a junk food snack or something like that, I said, okay, well you have money, you can buy that. And that worked out really well. It was something I saw on Andrea Mills's channel that she doesn't buy soda or anything for her kids. And I thought, you know what, that's so true. Um, he needs to know that that's like a treat and that that's special. So that has been working really well. Consequently, I have noticed that because he was having to pay for any kind of junk food that he wanted, he was really not craving it and not making it a big deal. So he's really good about not asking me for it. This is just the allowance system that really works for us. I've kind of honed it in for the last couple years and tried to figure out really what works best for my family. So if you have more than one child, I encourage you to really think what works best in my budget, what works best in paydays, um, what kind of jobs do I need help with as a parent that they can do. The other tip I can give you is his room never is on the chore list. You have to clean your room, you have to wash your sheets, um, you have to do all of the normal stuff of taking care of your own self. And that is not on the chore list. That is not something you get paid for. Because whether I work inside my home or outside my home, nobody pays me to wash my sheets. I know that I have to wash the sheets. And I wanted him to know that that your personal hygiene, your personal space, you will always have to take care of, and there is nobody out there that's gonna hand you money to take care of your personal space. It is not there. So, his personal space is not something he gets paid for. And that was just something that I really thought was important. I hope you guys enjoyed this video about how we make our allowance system work and why we chose different things. I don't think it's the normal allowance system by any means, but it does work for us, it does work for our family, and I have modified and tweaked it enough that I feel very comfortable sharing it with you. I would love to hear what y'all think of it or what you guys use as an allowance system. My mission is to kind of put stuff out there that's positive, something that somebody can take a little idea from here, a little idea from here, and make it something that really works in their family. So I'm hoping that that's what this does for you. Thank you so much. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit it, plus those bell notifications so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys again in my next brand new video. Bye for now.